this is Tracy, Chris's wife from Games, Girls, and Sometimes a Girl. Yes, I've changed the name on him. So, in response to last week's video of wanting to see some of the accompanying recipes, I've decided to make the roasted cauliflower once again. So, to start, I have two cauliflowers. One that we had, a teeny tiny one, and then a bigger one. So, first thing you do is remove the bottom and cut down the bottom so that it will fit into a pot with a tight fitting lid. Okay, so I have two different recipes here. The first recipe has two tablespoons of herbed mustard, has two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. It, they both have chives, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, and chili flakes. The second one, because I ran out of herb mustard, has peanut butter, some sesame oil, and rice wine vinegar for more of a Asian, hopefully, flair and taste. We'll see how that works. So, recipe is super simple. You take the rub, you put it on top of the cauliflower, and then you get dirty. It's the best way. I know it's disgusting, but you get it in there. It helps getting all, all the cracks in your cauliflower. So you just spread it all over, and it looks beautiful. Just like that. Okay, and with the magic that is video editing, I'm back with clean hands and a clean spatula. So on the second one, again, I'm going to use the uh, more Asian flavored one that has the peanut butter and the sesame oil and the rice wine vinegar. Like I said, it still has the chives and all the seasonings, the garlic, and the onion powder that the other one has. And this one is quite sloppy. Well, this one's gonna be interesting to see how this comes out. So again, mmm, doesn't that look delicious? And again, I'm back with clean hands. I know I glazed over the recipe of what was in it. If you check the description, the whole entire recipe will be in there. So next is to cover your cauliflowers tightly and put into a preheated 400 degree oven. You put it in there for 35 minutes or until tender. At that point, you can take the lid off and put it under the broiler for another five minutes. This step we thought last time was unnecessary. We'll see if we do it again this time. Probably not. So again, we're just going to put it into a preheated 400 degree oven for 35 so minutes. It's been 35 minutes since the cauliflower has been in the oven. After 35 minutes, we tried it out. It was still a little bit less than fall apart so we put it back in for another five minutes took off the lids but, but didn't, did not put it on broil so in total it was 40 minutes instead of the 35. here we go it's, oh <laughs> hardly any give slice it nicely and we have this beautiful cauliflower Ready to serve. I swear it comes out, I promise. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there. oh, look at that. Perfectly done. Fork tender, okay? So that one has the herbed, the grainy mustard, pardon me, with the more traditional recipe. And this is the, the more Asian type. Look, this is a smaller cauliflower and it is falling apart. You can see that's going to be excellent. So we will report on that with our dinner of ribs and yeah. cauliflower. Cauliflower. Thanks for watching. It looks Games, so grills, and sometimes a girl.